so in this example, we're dealing with inequalities. So let's go ahead and read the word problem, and then we'll talk about how to set it up. It says the perimeter of the rectangle can be at most 200 feet. So again, we have this little drawing of this rectangle here. It says write an inequality that can be used to find the width. Okay, so we're given a picture here of a rectangle. We know that this side is going to be W, right? This is going to be W plus 2. Okay, so we want to create an inequality, okay, to represent what's going on here. We can actually solve for W, which is going to be our width, okay? So doing this out, we know that this here is going to be a length of W, all right? This is also going to be a length of W. So what I'm going to do here is write 2W. Okay, it's also important to note, we didn't talk about this, but in order to find the perimeter of a shape, we simply add up all the sides. So that's what I'm doing here. Write W plus W, which is 2W. Plus, again, we have two of these here and here, so we're going to have 2 times W plus 2. Now, this whole thing has to be less than or equal to 200. Again, look at the wordage, at most 200 feet. So it has to be less than or equal to 200. Okay, so there's your inequality. We can actually solve for W now, which is going to be the width. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to get 2W. Let's go ahead and distribute the 2, so we get plus 2W plus 4, less than or equal to 200. We can combine like terms here and here. We're going to get 4W plus 4, less than or equal to 200. Okay, let's minus 4 on both sides. So we get 4W is less than or equal to 196. Our last step, divide both sides by 4. Okay, so we get here W is less than or equal to 49. Again, this is going to be feet. Okay, so this here is going to be our final answer. So we know that the width has to be less than or equal to 49 feet in order to satisfy our original inequality here. Okay, and that is it.